Hi, now we're going to be carrying on with financial maths, focusing on interest. First, we need to have a look at some of the terminology that you need to know and understand when you're working with this section. Whenever you invest or borrow money, it is going to grow over time by a percentage, and this is called interest. When you borrow money, that is referred to as a loan. Okay, the, the loan is the amount of money that you have borrowed either from an individual or from a fun financial institution like a bank. Okay, then we have got the principal. This, the principal amount is the amount of money that you either borrowed or invested. Okay, so that's the amount of money that you started with at the beginning of your loan or your investment period. Then we've got the interest rates. This is a percentage that the money which is invested or borrowed will grow by every year. So, and it is calculated per annum, or PA, which means per year. Okay, so the interest rate is obviously a percentage, and it's going to be a percentage of the principal amount, and it's going to be calculated on an annual basis or a yearly basis. Okay, then we've got the interest which is the result of taking that interest rate and working out the percent, that percentage of the principal amount per year. So that the interest is the actual amount of money that your investment or your loan will grow by. Then we've got the time. This is the how long you borrow the money for or how long you invest the money for and it is calculated in years. Okay, then simple interest. Simple interest is the type of interest that we work with now in grade 8. Simple interest is where you have your principal amount and the interest is calculated based on that principal amount and then every year that same amount of interest is added. And it doesn't change based on you making payments or it doesn't change based on you um, based on the interest that has been added. It's just always going to be the same amount of interest that's added every year. Okay, so that's how simple interest works. Next year and so on, you're going to start working with what we call compound interest, which works a little bit differently. But for now, we're just going to be working with simple interest. Okay, so now you might be wondering if interest is a good thing or a bad thing, and that depends on the situation. If you have invested money, then interest is a good thing because it means that the money that you have invested is going to grow in value over time. You're going to end up with more money than you started with. But if you have borrowed money, it means that you're going to end up paying back more than what you borrowed in the beginning. So it's always wise to not borrow th to not borrow money unless it is something that is an absolute need that you can't live without and you don't have enough money for, or something that is going to be an investment that is going to help you to actually make money now or in the future. Something like an education that will enable you to get a better job later on and that will allow you to make money or something like a car that will help you to get to work to be able to earn money or something like a house that will increase in value over time okay so those are the kinds of things that um, it is wise to uh, take out a loan for but it's not wise to borrow money for something like a tv which is something that you can live without until you can afford it because otherwise you end up paying more than you actually need to for that item. Okay, right, so let's have a look at an example where we're actually going to be working out something with interest. So in this example, you invest 300 Rand in the bank at 10% per annum simple interest. How much money will you have saved after five years? So the first thing we need to do is we need to work out how much interest you will save after one year, how much interest you will be given or earn after one year. Okay, so the interest for one year, we're going to take the principal amount, which is a 300 Rand, and we're going to multiply it by the interest rate. Now you see over here in our question, it says 10% per annum simple interest. Okay, so the simple interest is just telling you this is the kind of interest I was talking about, where it is worked out always on the principal amount. Okay, it doesn't, it's not a changing interest amount. The 10% is the percentage we're going to be working with, and per annum means that every single year you're going to earn 10% interest of the 300 Rand. Okay, or 10% of the 300 Rand as interest. Right, so now let's have a look at how we're going to do that. So we're going to have our 300 Rand, and we multiply that by 0 0.1 because 10% is the same as 0 0.1, and that gives us 30 Rand. So that is how much interest you would earn uh, 
for having this investment for one year but you're going to have this investment for five years so now let's find out how much interest you'll earn for five years Now, like we said, because this is simple interest, the amount of interest every year is going to be the same. It's going to be 10% of the principal amount every single year. So we're just going to multiply that that we worked out over there already by five. Because it's for five years. So that is 150 Rand. Okay, so now we know how much interest you're going to be able to earn altogether for five years, but that hasn't actually answered the question yet. The question wasn't how much interest you're going to earn. The question is how much money will you have saved? Okay, now the amount of money that you save includes the amount of money that you invested in the first place. So the total after five years is going to be the amount that you invested plus the interest that you get for five years. And that gives you a total of 450 Rand for your five year investment. Okay, so now I'm going to give you an example that you're going to work on for yourself. In this example, Michael borrows 500 Rand at 12% per annum simple interest for three years. How much will he have to pay back all together? So I'm going to give you one minute to work on this. Okay, you should hopefully be done with that question. So let's go through that now. So for question one, we know that Michael has borrowed 500 Rand. We know that the simple interest rate is 12% per annum. And we know that the time period is three years. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same as what I did in this example over here, but I'm actually going to combine these two into one step because if you look at this what I did over here is I took the 300 times 0 0.1 and I got the 30 and that times that 30 by 5 so I could have done all of that in one step by doing this just working out my interest as 300 times 0 0.1 and then times it straight away by 5 for the 5 years and that would have given me the 150 Rand straight away so you can work out your interest for all of the years in one go without having to first work out the interest for one year and then multiply it by the number of years. We can do it all in one step. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now. So over here, I've got my interest, which is equal to the 500 multiplied by the interest rate, which is 12%, so that's 0 0.12 times three for the three years. 500 times 0.12 times 3 and that gives you 180 rand so that's how much you should have found that he earns as interest or that not earns because he's borrowed the money how much he will have to pay back as interest now we have to work out how much he has to pay back all together so he doesn't only have to pay back the interest he has to pay back the amount that he borrowed as well obviously okay so the total Is going to be the 500 plus that 180 which is 680 rand so that is how much money he will have to pay back altogether um, by the end of the three years right now I'm going to give you another example that you're going to work on and this time see if you can do it in one step like I did over here where you work out all of the interest in one go okay so for this one Bongani invests 2,300 Rand in a high-yielding savings account 
at a 9.8% per annum simple interest rate. How much will he have saved or how much will he have after six years? Okay, so I'm going to give you one minute to work this out. Okay, you should hopefully be done with that question by now, so let's go through that example. Okay, so for question two, we know that Bongani invests 2,300 Rand, and we know the simple that the interest rate is 9.8% per, 9 .8 per annum simple interest, and we know that the, the time is six years. Okay, so we're going to start off by working out our interest, which is 2,300 multiplied by the interest rate of 0 .9, or of 9.8%, which is 0 0.098. And we multiply that by the number of years, which is six, to find out the total amount of interest that he will earn. So 2,300 times 0 0.098 times 6 and that should have given you 1,352 Rand 40. Okay so that's the total amount of interest that he is going to earn. Now let's find out what his total investment will be worth after the six years. So that we take the total or you take the starting amount which is the 2,300 and we add the interest 1,300 and 52 rand 40 and that should give you 3652 rand 40 so that's how much money he will have after six years because he invested the 2300 rand at the beginning okay now let's go on to example three Tabo borrows 2,200 Rand at 14.5% per annum simple interest for 3.5 years. Determine the to total amount he needs to repay to settle the loan. I'm going to give you one minute again to work on this. Okay, you should be done with that by now. So let's go through that example. Okay, so in question three, we're starting off with an amount of 2,200 Rand, which is being borrowed at an interest rate of 14.5% per annum simple interest for a total of three and a half years. Okay, so we need to work out our interest by taking that 2,200 
multiplying it by the 14.5%, which is 0 0.145, and then multiplying it by 3.5 for the number of years. And that gives us 1,116 Rand 50. Okay, so that's the total amount of interest. Now we need to go and work out the amount of, or the total amount that he'll have to repay to, to settle the loan at the end. So the total at the end, we need to add the interest to the amount that he borrowed in the beginning. So it's 2,200 plus the interest of 1,116 Rand 50. And that gives us 3,316 Rand 50. So that's the total amount of money that he would have to repay at the end of the three and a half years. Okay, and then the last question, question four. Normsa deposits 1,500 Rand in a fixed deposit savings account at, with a 5.75% per annum simple interest rate. How much interest will she earn after two years? I'm going to give you one minute to work on this. Okay, you should hopefully be done with that, so let's go through that example. So in this example, we're starting with 1,500 Rand, which has been deposited. So to work out our interest, we're going to take that 1,500 and multiply it by the interest rate, which is 5.75% per annum simple interest, so 0 0.0575, and we multiply that by the number of years, which is 2. So 1,500 times 0 0.0575 times 2. And that should give you 172 Rand 50. And that is the total amount of interest that she earned. Now in this question, we didn't have to work out the total amount that she has after two years. We only had to work out the interest. So we are now done. So that's what we do when we're working with interest in financial maths. Now that we've learned the concepts in this lesson, it's important to practice, practice, practice. If you haven't already got the worksheet that goes with this video, you can find it by clicking on the link in the description below. The worksheet comes with an extra exercise full of questions for you to work on to master the concepts covered in this lesson. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button so that others can benefit from it too. Also be sure to subscribe so that you can easily find my other lessons and hit the bell so that you will get notified about lessons as I upload them.